Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have a self-study mini course, Telepathically Connect with your specific person. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. So today I wanted to make a video about all the inaccurate things that you hear from manifesting coaches and I would like to help you guys debunk these things, debunk these concepts and these myths, if you will, and help you become more free, more liberated in your manifesting process. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So the first misconception or inaccuracy I wanted to address today is something that drives me absolutely crazy and unfortunately a lot of coaches do it and that is telling you guys how exactly to do a technique. For example, if you're visualizing, a lot of coaches say you need to visualize in first person, you need to visualize clearly, you need to feel it with all your senses. If you're affirming, it has to be in present tense, it cannot be in the future. Same if you're scripting or, for example, repeating your affirmations X number of times a day. And the list goes on and on and on. So I want to reassure you guys that how many times you repeat your affirmations, how exactly you visualize, whether it's very clear or if it's a little blurred or if you're even visualizing shadows, if you're saying the person's name or not saying the person's name, if you're manifesting a person, if you're saying your affirmations in present tense or in future tense, and all other things like that, ultimately do not matter. What matters much more than that is what state you bring yourself in, because that is the only thing, you guys, that creates sustainable change for the long term. I'm not saying that a scene you're looping or perhaps the affirmations you're repeating might not manifest directly because yes, that does happen. But if you want sustainable and long lasting change, you need to shift your state more sustainably and more permanently. And how you do that depends on you, what comes natural to you, what feels good to you. And we're all a little different in that. So don't worry so much about how you're doing a technique, worry about the state it puts you in. If you're visualizing in third person as if observing yourself as opposed to being in the scene, that's still okay. I can tell you I have manifested things this way, no problem. Another great one is uh, don't say anything negative. Don't say not, don't say don't. Because supposedly your subconscious doesn't catch on to that. That's also an assumption that's also not accurate. And just to give you a very quick example, if for example you're manifesting a specific person and you have a reaction to something you didn't like in the 3D, and you start getting an emotional reaction in your body and you start feeling sadness or anger or frustration, do you guys know what story you're telling yourself to elicit that reaction within yourself? You're telling yourself the story that they don't love me. They don't care about me. They don't want me. They don't want to be together with me and so on and so forth. And this is eliciting that emotional reaction in yourself. So in this case, your subconscious perfectly understands the negative. So don't worry about any of these things. Do your affirmations, do your techniques, however they come most naturally to you and worry about the state in which they put you. Anything and everything else is just individual coaches limiting beliefs and limiting assumptions. Another one that's tied to what I just said is some coaches presenting one technique as superior to others, as better than others, as more effective than others. This, you guys, is a myth. What techniques work for you are the techniques that work for you. They may not be the same techniques that work for the person next to you. What works for that coach might not be what works for you. And so you need to develop an awareness and you need to know what works for you, what comes natural to you, what feels good to you, and follow that. There is no technique that is superior to the other techniques or more effective than other techniques. It all depends on how they work for you and how they resonate with you. 
And another one that is also tied to the first two points that I discussed is how many times you need to repeat a technique. For example, you need to say your affirmations at least 100 times a day. Or you need to loop the scene over and over and over and over and over again, I don't know, 50 times, 100 times, or for however long in order to manifest it. I can tell you from experience that if you repeat an affirmation a couple of times and it puts you in the state that you need to be in, or you just imagine a scene once, but then you get into that inner knowing of, yes, it's done, it's happening for me, you absolutely don't need to loop it a hundred times, a thousand times. You don't need to repeat your affirmations over and over and over and over again. As I just said before, you want to be paying attention to your state. If doing it once, if saying the affirmation once, if doing the inner conversation once puts you in the desired state, then that is all you need. Another one which really drives me crazy is when coaches tell you that you need to manifest in X amount of time or otherwise you're doing something wrong. It's definitely true that manifestations can come in fast. In some cases, they even come in immediately. And the more you practice the law, the more you're going to see this in practice, the faster you're going to see that things are happening for you. But it doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong necessarily if what you're manifesting is taking a little while. If you are in the desired state, if you feel, if you have that inner feeling and that inner knowing that it's done for me, it's coming, it's going to manifest in my life, I'm expecting it, then you're doing it right and you can rest assured that it's going to manifest into your life sooner or later. Some manifestations do take a little while. They do take a little longer and there's nothing wrong with that. And I know we all want our manifestations fast. Of course, that's natural. But at the same time, I suggest you try not to fall into the trap of those clickbaits that tell you manifest this or that in 24 hours, manifest this or that in three days. Is it possible? Of course, it's absolutely possible. Is it going to happen? And is it going to happen every single time? Not necessarily is the honest truth and the honest answer. So don't make yourselves slaves of time. Try to enjoy manifesting. Try to enjoy the process. Try to enjoy your life in the meantime. I always say that. Live your best life in the meantime. And it will come when it comes. If you're in the right state predominantly, there is no way it's not going to come, you guys. Another one, which is unfortunately popular with many coaches, and I've made a separate video on that actually, is when you hear that you need to heal in order to manifest what you want. I'm not going to elaborate a lot on that because I've made a separate video. It's already out. You can watch that video to learn my views on that. But suffice it to say here that healing is actually expansion of consciousness. And you expand your consciousness by deciding to occupy a different state. Once you occupy that new state, once you decide to move into it and shift into it, the healing automatically happens because you're no longer the same person than you were in that state where you were unhealed, where you were still dwelling on your trauma and on your wounds and all the old story and all the old circumstances. So no, you don't need to be fully healed in order to manifest your desires. Your desires are yours now. Your desires are yours the moment they are born in you. And the last one, which also kind of ties in with what I just discussed, is the whole concept that you always need to be happy in order to manifest your desires. First of all, it's not always possible for us to be happy all the time. This is not humanly possible. We all go through different states and different moods day after day, a lot of the time even within the same day. And so a perpetual happiness is not necessarily always sustainable. That being said, one secret that I've also elaborated on in other videos in order to maintain peace of mind and calmness and ultimately be as close as possible to a perpetual state of happiness is to learn to disengage from your thoughts, is to learn to not regard your thoughts as something that defines you, is to learn to not believe the thoughts that don't serve you, is to learn to observe your thoughts but not engage with them, not identify with them, not believe them if they do not correspond to the reality that you want. And once you start realizing that all these thoughts, which are usually fearful thoughts, thoughts coming from insecurity, thoughts coming from doubt, etc., etc., come from your ego mind, it's going to become much, much easier to start disregarding them, disengaging from them, not allowing them to ruin your day and ruin your mood. And this is going to make it much, much easier for you to persist in your state of the wish fulfilled. But no, in order to manifest, you do not need to be perpetually happy or in a perpetually good mood. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. 
I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.